Oh yes! Supreme! I'm so rich! Easy, 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 easy! What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new video for you guys. So if you've been on the channel for quite some time now, in the past I've done videos where basically uh, I've done sort of things like things that annoy me. Basically this is going to be people that annoy me. Version 1 or 2, I can't actually remember at this point. I'm going to be uh, firing some shots today, so if you guys don't like this uh, type of content then uh, just get out. I want to do some more videos like this because I do genuinely enjoy them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like Let's get started. So the first type of people that annoy me are the types of people who literally get excited for an event or a certain, you know, like a season or something months before. You've got someone on Instagram who basically gets excited for Halloween in May. Oh, hey guys. Basically, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this coat. Basically, it's September, so that means it's, uh, it's autumn and I have to wear this everywhere. And shivers down your spine. Where's my phone? I better take a picture. Hashtag Halloween. What's the point? Like, I understand that people are going to be excited for things, but getting excited months before it actually happens is is ridiculous. You know, it's uh, it's currently September, and I think it's almost time to write my Christmas list and get my selection chocky boxes. Where's Santa? Oh, Santa, Santa! Oh my God, it's you! Oh my God! So I want uh, for Christmas, I want loads of chockies, and I want a PS4, and I want an Xbox One. You do realise it's bloody September. Never too early for Christmas. That's it. Ah! It's that sort of thing. Like if you're gonna get excited for a season, like Halloween or something, get excited for it in freaking October. It just does my head in. But to follow on from this, people, for some reason, turn their Instagrams into Winter Wonderland. I understand that some Christmas themed photos, but everything doesn't need to be like Halloween or Christmas on your Instagram. If you want to put a photo up, just put it up. I just don't understand. The second type of person that gets on my bloody nerves, people skip the queue. Sure can't wait to buy my mum's new oven glove for her birthday. Out of my way. I deserve to go first because I'm really fat and old. You know what, Tubby? You say? I called you Tubby. Now, my mummy needs this new oven glove before you. So you know why you need this space because your big belly takes up all the room. <laughs> You'll all be sat in a queue and suddenly you have this idiot who's probably about a middle-aged man buying his groceries and just cuts in front of you. Like, doesn't even ask. Also, when you're waiting, like, in the co-op or something and there's a new till open and you're waiting there, just about to be served and then you can go onto the other one and get served, some idiot decides to just push in. You know, I'm older than you. I obviously deserve to be... Idiots. Like, you're... Seriously. The whole point of a queue is you wait. You don't cut in. None of that crap. But for some reason, there are some people in this world who think they're absolutely freaking solid. They think that they're... T Mike Tyson. <laughs> Edward Sykes. Oh, that man. If you're watching this, Eddie Sykes, let's have a boxing fight. No, he actually asked me to have a boxing fight. Like, I ain't even shitting you. What I'm saying is, guys, there are just so many people who just think that, you know, skipping a queue and stuff is acceptable. And to be honest with you... It's not. The next type of people that get on my nerves with sticking with the shop theme is people who are rude to employees. They're rude to them. Let's take an example. Hello there, young man. I bought this LucasAid cherry earlier and I didn't like it. It's, I've drunk it all, as you can see. I'd like a refund. Look, sir, I can't offer you a refund. That's against store policy. But what I can do is offer you some ivy and brushwood weed killer for only £1.50. The choice is yours. Right, listen up, on a. Eh? I don't want any of your weed killer. All I want is this to be returned. Uh, you're a disgrace to this world. I've got more solo wins than you, so I should deserve it. Okay, um, I think I'm going to go now. The customer decides to get all mouthy and's like, Yeah, I want my drink. Yeah, refund. There are rules in life, buddy. And just like in some things that have warranties, you can only get it returned in that certain amount of time. 
that they're, they're there for a reason. Like, I could use this Nivea men's deodorant, I could use it all up and go and get my money back, it doesn't work like that. Poor, you know, the poor employees at these shops are getting abused by these stupid, like, middle-aged mums shouting at them, it's like, it's not... It's not pleasant, is it? The next type of person is the type of people who spend literally their lives sat indoors. Oh, Fortnite. Fortnite. I've got the new skin. Like, I understand that people sit indoors and play video games, but when you're playing it, literally twi- There's a person there. The thing I don't understand is how people literally spend all their lives sat indoors playing video games, okay? It doesn't make any sense. And like, wait, you're meant to go out, aren't you? You can go out, play some football. It's pretty fun. There's some fresh air out there. There's some great oxygen. But you're sat in here sniffing farts all day. <laughs> the last type of person in this video is one which, if you do this, I don't like you. Yeah! This type of person is the type of person who goes to a concert or a football game or something like that and literally puts the whole three hour thing on their story. Like, I, it's acceptable to put maybe a little clip of a song or something like that on your story. When you're spamming your story with literally the whole concert, then you, you just need to just stop. Like, no one wants to sit through the whole listening to you singing in the background, do they? This is normally how it looks. Guys, I'm going to see Post Malone today. I'm so excited. Looking at you are better now, better now You only say that cause I'm not around, not around You only never make you let you count Two thousand years later Oh baby you, baby can't keep me spinning Oh yeah we are, I don't want no romance Oh baby I <laughs> Stop now I've let off some steam, I think it's time to end this video. Let me know if you guys do like these normal types of videos, this sort of style. Maybe I'll do some more. I'm, I'm back to school tomorrow. And in other news, I, uh, I actually got a job, so uh, life's going great. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up. If you guys do any of those things, please stop. I hope you guys are all well, and uh, I shall see you guys in the next video. I've been Jacob Creed, and I shall see you guys soon. But until then, a peace out. Yeet! I'm just a kid who